What's going on Arizona sports fan family? It's been a very long time since we made a video about the Arizona Cardinals, but please keep in mind that this is the time during really not much happening with the Arizona Cardinals, but mandatory OTAs is about to start up for the Cardinals and Buda Baker is in the building. What's going on everybody welcome back into another video definitely do me a huge favor smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more arizona cardinals content on the road to 12k ladies and gentlemen can't do it without you guys definitely subscribe it up also follow me on all my social platforms everything will be in the description below all right let's dive right into this ladies and gentlemen i think it's no surprise that the arizona cardinal fan base has gone through a roller coaster of a ride this coming off season with the news of deandre hopkins you know suddenly releasing him as well as the requesting of a trade from star safety Buda Baker so we all kind of are trying to not listen to the Arizona Cardinal news but we kind of are at the same time because it is our team but we have got some news from Buda Baker being that mandatory minicamp is actually starting to come closer and closer we got some good news saying that Buda Baker is currently in the building now the report does come from Ian Rapport and it reads this Arizona Cardinal star safety Buda Baker has requested a trade is present in the building as AZ prepares for mandatory mini camp. Now, please keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think that this means that Buda Baker is going to be, you know, here to stay. Now, we've all kind of heard whispers and stuff like that. We heard DeAndre Hopkins come out and says, who says I wanted to, you know, go when it came down to, you know, getting traded away from Arizona Cardinals. Now, we all know how that transpired. I want to kind of tread very lightly on this situation. Just because Buda Baker is in the building does not mean that He's going to stay as an Arizona Cardinal. Now, mandatory minicamp is very important because it has to do with, you know, their salaries, right? The 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 being the idea of them having to be there. Now, there was also a report came out shortly after, you know, the report that Buda Baker is in the building from also Ian Rappaport saying this. Any player who skips mandatory minicamp is subject to fines with uh, 16000 of uh, the first day over 32,000 the second day and over 49,000 the third day near uh totaling nearly you know $99,000 so very close to $100,000 if you know a player doesn't show up so this might be one of the main reasons why Buda Baker is in the building now there was an interview happening with Buda Baker and one of the you know the the newscasters here the local newscasters here in Arizona and Buda Baker did actually come out and saying he was going to be in the building so he's a man of his word he is there so that's kind of you know enlightening but this doesn't mean that the drama is over for Buda Baker and I think right now we're kind of in a situation where it, it's kind of a wait and see right it's a kind of a wait and see now to me specifically as a Cardinal fan I don't blame Buda Baker at the slightest do I think he should you know get more money I think that Buda Baker honestly does deserve the money that he's probably asking for currently right now I think he's what top three top five highest paid player within the Arizona Cardinals and I think if we look at the cap space the Cardinals Cardinals do have the ability to extend him if they wanted to. Now, I I don't know what Monty Yosinfor's plans are, if he's going to wait, if he's not going to wait. I'm not sure what his plans are, but the idea of... Buda Baker getting extended can technically happen with what we have in the you know the, the cap situation at this very moment. I think it's just a, a decision with either Michael Bidwell or Monty Osen for at this very moment. So right now I'm not going to put the water on the fire about the trade of Buda Baker. Um, but it, it's a little I guess a lot enlightening more than anything. It's, I'm not excited about Buda Baker being in the building because this doesn't mean that he's going to be a Cardinal right in, in 2023. It, it is probably best for the in the best interest for the Arizona Cardinals to possibly move off of him do I want him to stay as a Cardinal of course I do right he's a, a guy that was drafted here second rounder and this was probably one of the uh, the most recent stars for the Arizona Cardinals draft pick so yes of course I want him to stay but looking at how they treated DeAndre Hopkins with just releasing him now I know the idea was for him to get traded the problem was that nobody wanted to, you know, trade for his contract. Nobody wanted to trade for a wide receiver that's over 30 years old. Now, granted, as Cardinal fans, we know that he's still productive. We know that he still has value. The problem is that I think most people knew that he didn't want to be a Cardinal. And the most people knew that this, 
this coming, you know, uh, the stuff that was going to come to happen, the the mandatory stuff, he's probably either A, was going to hold out, not going to show up, so it was going to be a little bit more of a headache more than anything. The good thing is that we do open up a lot of money and not paying DeAndre Hopkins. He did get his money, and now he's going to find his way and hopefully to a, a contending team, and, you know, I guess best wishes for him and figuring out what he's going to do for the rest of his career, but he's not a Cardinal at this very moment. So, Right now, Buda Baker, let's figure out what's going to happen. He is in the building for mandatory mini camp at this very moment. So, you know, a little enlightening, nothing too crazy. But ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys feeling about this whole news? Do you think Buda Baker will be suited up as an Arizona Cardinal in 2023? Let me know in the comments below. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. And go Cards.